Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is uh, evening prayer for Monday, March the 28th, 2011. It's year one, Lent three, and week five of the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 77, John chapter seven, verse 14 to 36, and Luke chapter one, verse 46 to 55. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. Psalm 72. I cry aloud to you, I cry aloud to you, hear me. In the day of my distress I sought you. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered you and I groaned and I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled I could not speak. I thought of the days long ago and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart and I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will you reject us forever? and no longer show favor to us. Has your love vanished forever? Has your promise come to an end? Do you forget to be gracious or in anger withhold your compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief, that your way has changed. I remember your deeds. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O oh God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. The water saw you, O God. The water saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The skies went forth, there set forth their voice, and your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled around the sky, and your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled, and then your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 7, beginning at verse 14. About the middle of the festival, Jesus went up into the temple and began to teach. The Jews were astonished at it, saying, How does this man have such learning when he has never been taught? And then Jesus answered them, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. Anyone who resolves to do the will of God will know whether the teaching is from God or whether I am speaking on my own. Those who speak on their own seek their own glory, but the one who seeks the glory of him who sent me is true, and there is nothing false in him. Did not Moses give you the law? Yet none of you keeps the law. Why are you looking for an opportunity to kill me? The crowd answered, You have a demon who is trying to kill you. Jesus answered them, I performed one work and all of you are astonished. Moses gave you circumcision. It is, of course, not from Moses, but from the patriarchs. And you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath in order that the law of Moses may not be broken, are you angry with me because I healed a man's whole body on the Sabbath? Do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. Now some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, Is not this the man whom they are trying to kill? And here he is, speaking openly, but they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Messiah? Yet we know where this man is from, but when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. And then Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, You know me, and you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, 
but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. And then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him, because his hour had not yet come. Yet many in the crowd believed in him and were saying, When the Messiah comes, will he do more signs than this man has ever done? The Pharisees heard the crowd muttering such things, and the chief priests and the Pharisees sent the temple police to arrest Jesus. And Jesus then said, I will be with you a little while longer, and then I am going to him who sent me. You will search for me, but you will not find me, and where I am you cannot come. And the Jews said to one another, Where does this man intend to go that we will not find him? Does he intend to go to the dispersion among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? What does he mean by saying, You will search for me and you will not find me? And where I am, you cannot come. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. <clears throat> that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. That there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world. That we may depart this life in faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit, in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. The Canticle of Mary. My soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you've looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You have done great things for me. Holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. You have shown the strength of your arm, and you have scattered the proud in their conceit. You have cast down the mighty from their thrones, and lifted the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah, and their children forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. <clears throat> Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.